I look to my right, there's Michael Jordan. <laughs> Man. I look to my left, there's Charles Barkley or Larry Bird. Man. Trailing David Robinson, Patrick Ewing. I mean, I didn't know who to throw the ball to. <laughs> We have five Hall of Famers. We put in five more. Barkley behind the back for Drexler. He finds Muller. Touch pass to Magic for three. Yes. yes. They knew what was happening, and it wasn't about an individual. It was about a team, and every one of us knew it was special. They called us in there for a mission. They called us in there to, to show the dominance that we had about basketball. And here's Jordan to the open floor. And I felt like we did that. Here's the ball. You have the 12 best basketball players in the world playing on one team. That's the best team you ever going to see, ever in the game of basketball. And here's the frosting for the USSR. 82-76. The Soviets will go to the gold medal game. The United States goes home stunned with a semi-final loss to the bigger, more experienced USSR team. It was almost like a piece of me was out on that court with all those guys. I was so used to us winning, I didn't know um, how to react. We look at basketball as our game. And Marcelonis drops a ball. It really made us mad. They, they were using pros, beating our college kids. Bottom line may have been the Soviet experience, which uh, may, in the final analysis, accelerate the push in the United States to allow NBA pros to compete in the Olympics. The genesis of the Dream Team did not come from within the United States. It came from this FIBA executive named Boris Stankovic, who for years had been preaching the fact that he wanted professionals in the Olympics. But the thought was you would never get them together. If you did, you would never get the top pros. There was a lot of people prospecting on who should go. I mean, you know, obviously there were the locks of, of who would go, but then there was a lot of question marks because Larry Bird, who had just come off the two heel surgeries and the, and the injuries, and, and then would Michael Jordan play? And Magic Johnson was in question due to his illness, and, and that sort of threw a lot of intrigue into the whole process. Oh yeah, it was definitely a, a turning point in my life because there was so much uncertainty I don't know if the Olympics needed me more or if I needed the Olympics more.